the Muslim engineer, one of the most honorable occupations that help building civilizations and is essential for establishing buildings and construction is engineering. And the Muslim engineer is distinguished by anticipating the rewards from Allah and sincerity of intention. For every worldly knowledge the Ummah needs, the one acting upon it is rewarded for it if his intention is correct. And among his characteristics is trustworthiness, so he doesn't cheat and what he works on from equipment or building materials. Also, he protects the private details and secrets of the work, so he neither reveals them to competitive companies nor others. Among his characteristics is excellence in executing the job because his carelessness and shortcomings may lead to the loss of lives. He is interested in self-development and improving his abilities, so he follows the latest technologies concerning his specialty and becomes proficient in the languages that help him in his job. And because of his sincerity in training and gaining experience, he becomes sharp in his sense so he can find faults in the equipment just by starting it or listening. He acts wisely in different circumstances and has to establish the security measures in the buildings he is working on and the machines he operates to avoid any kind of damage. And he has to take the necessary measures to protect himself and his workers from risks, be serious and endure every difficulty he faces in the field of work. The Prophet ﷺ said, A strong believer is better and dearer to Allah than a weak one, and both are good. He is truthful in describing his specialty and abilities, so if he is asked to do something he can't do, he rejects it without being shy. And he provides advice to clients regarding what benefits them and saves their money, time and effort. In addition, he is not stingy with knowledge that benefits them, as the deen religion is nasiha, advice or sincerity. Also, he is cooperative with his co-workers because the nature of engineering requires a team who help each other. And Allah will aid his worshippers so as long as he aids his brother. And he doesn't miss doing good to the poor, needy and charity organizations. He does what they need without compensation or little payment, hoping for the reward from Allah the Exalted. Allah the Exalted said, and do good. Truly Allah loves al-muhsinun, the good doers.